المحطة القادمة هي المطار مبنى رقم ثلاثة. The next station is Airport Terminal 3. Control center, do you have any emergency? Do you have any emergency? What we have noticed uh, running a driverless train, it has uh, a better punctuality and uh, adherence to timetable management uh, because we are removing a lot of uh, human factor error from the system. So comparing our system to others, because we run a nearly two and a half minutes headway, um, there is no system in the world that is capable of running uh, that aggressive headway with a driver. Those train uh, controllers available in the OCC, they are the people who are, uh, let's say, they are the first responders to anything that happens on the ground. They respond to uh, information being requested from people on board. You see the uh, emergency button, for example, on board the train. You see the information button on board the train. And through the stations, if there is any delay, if there is any fault that is appearing uh, on the train itself, they monitor randomly the CCTV available on the train. If we are running in any emergency, uh, like for example a security threat or uh, an injury on board for some reason or another. A train controller can immediately suspend the entire service by pressing the red button. What you can see from the large screen, you can see the train movement, for example the train number 4646 and once it stops in Jabal Ali station, the black dot, the black dot is the metro door, the metro door opening, or the metro door uh, uh, opening. And the one above is the platform screen door opening or closing. And then you see the station name, and then you see the countdown timer, you see or you measure through this countdown timer, you measure if the train is on time or is it delayed for the system to do its own calculation in case there is a delay to adjust the speed of the metro or to inform the other uh, metros ahead or behind to adjust their speed to reform or re-catch up with the headway. We set the timetable, what is the required headway of the system, what time the train should depart a particular station, and at what time should the train uh, arrive into the destination station. Also within the tool itself, we specify the dwell time. The dwell time means from the time the train stops, open the door, and then closes the door again, and then starts the movement. train gets delayed due to technical issues or if the door doesn't shut properly so how is it communicated uh, the first thing, uh, we are alerted immediately. The system alerts the control uh, center if there is any fault or if there is any reason that will cause a delay. Like for example, if there is an obstacle in the, in the metro doors and the metro is not closing, obviously the metro will not move. The train door will try to to close automatically for three times. If it failed, it will remain open. It will alert the OCC and then the OCC will alert the station staff who will go to the platform and resolve the uh, or remove the obstacle that is stopping the metro door from closing. When a train is timing out or is not able to move automatically by the system, the first thing to be done is we send out a train controller or a train attendant who is qualified to drive the train to uh, enter the train, 
And the first thing to be done is for, for those people who are inside the train to disembark. We call it the train, uh, the metro. Uh, and then we move it manually. And we have dedicated pocket tracks along the, the railway where we store those trains so it does not affect the overall movement. We have a dedicated bus route to service that particular station when it goes out of service for any reason. And this service is completely for free.